Well, good afternoon and welcome to Overty Vest Nurseries on a beautiful sunny afternoon in early spring. And here on the nursery where we grow a very wide selection of outdoor garden plants, ones that have been especially selected for our region and ones that are available through a network of garden centers right through our region, that's the Northeast and Mid-Atlantic States. And if you'd like to find out more about the plants that we're featuring on our channel all the time, can I suggest, if you haven't done it already, that you think about clicking and subscribing to our channel because we're posting new videos all the time and as we post them, then if you're subscribed, they will show up automatically in your feed. Now, as I pan over this selection of plants that we have here, ones that we're shipping out very shortly to garden centers, I have a little confession to make. And that is that when I seen the first pictures of the plants in front of me now, the little compact growing bugles that were developed by Chris Hansen at Garden Solutions, I kind of thought to myself, yeah, yeah, another bugle. That's what's the big deal? Well, that was <laughs> until I seen the plants because when you see them now in all their glory, I think you can see, and I hope you can hear also, just how impressed I am with these selections. Really beautiful, really gorgeous, and knowing that bugles are hardy, easy to grow plants that make excellent ground cover, you can tell, I think, that I have changed my mind completely. I should have really known better because Chris Hansen is a good friend of ours. He's a very fine plantsman. He knows a good plant when he sees one, and I shouldn't have really jumped to that conclusion without taking a closer look at the plants. I also should have realized that several of these selections are obviously descended from a really nice compact growing little species that grows up in high alpine meadows in Italy, Ajuga tenorii. And it is really a smashing little plant that has fine dainty foliage and carries all of these beautiful cobalt blue flowers. And as you see, all of these selections, well, not all of them, but most of these selections are clearly uh, descended from that species and inherits its fine foliage, which is why this whole collection is called Feathered Friends because the way the leaves interlap and kind of grow together, they look like feathers on a bird. Now there are one or two ones that are a big bit bolder and bigger and spreadier growing. And this particular one here, which is one called Fierce Falcon, clearly comes to me, looks like it's descended from the bugle weed a Juga reptans, the species that grew on my parents' farm in the heavy rainfall districts of Western Ireland. It's one that spreads out over the ground and there's quite a few very good selections already on the market. And this one really is pretty because it has this shiny dark purple foliage and I think you can see the way it's spreading out here what a terrific ground covering plant this would make. And then as I zoom here on the flowers, you'll see how pretty this purple flowering spike is and the way it rises up out of the crown of the plant to give a really nice bright finish to the overall effect of ground cover. Then let me go and show you this one, which is probably one of my favorites. This is a gorgeous little one called Cordial Canary. And this has this beautiful, dainty, bright lemon yellow foliage. And look how the bright cobalt blue flowers contrast so nicely with its tight, compact habit. Only growing about four inches or so high and spreading out, this will make a delightful little clump whether you use it as a single plant or plant more of them to create a mass planting with all of its gorgeous foliage. 
Then let me back up a little bit and show you this variety, which is called Fancy Finch. And this one, as you see, has multiple colored uh, sections on its foliage, starting out with lemon yellow and orangey tips and then lime green pots too. You can see with this, you get a multicolored effect and very free flowering habit. Just look at the amount of flowers that's on this plant. Possibly a little bit taller. This is one that I think is likely to get to about six inches or so high, but covered, absolutely covered with masses of its blue flowers that look so nice above the tricolored foliage. And then this is one called Tropical Toucan. Again, a bright lemon yellow ground covering one. This one's going to be a wider spreader probably better in a ground covering situation, but I want to let you see just what these flower spikes look like as they rise up above the golden foliage. Beautiful interlaced flowers and sepals or leaves that rise up out of the tufts and really create a magnificent effect. You could see, I think, what this one would do if you were to plant this on a bank or a hillside and just like it's, let it spread out and perhaps put some taller plants in between it just to relieve the flatness of the golden ground covering foliage. Really good, really beautiful, and very attractive. And then look at this one. This is one called Parrot, Parrot Paradise. And this one has this beautiful orange coloring on here. Again, lots of little cobalt blue flowers rising up above the foliage, making very nice ground cover. And this looks to me like one that's probably going to intensify its color when the weather turns colder going into the fall. Incidentally, all of these varieties are semi-evergreen and will be evergreen in milder areas. In colder areas, they're not going to hold up quite so much during the depth of the winter, but certainly for the vast majority of the time during the year, they're going to have this beautiful foliage spreading out over the ground. And then this is one called Petite Parakeet. Again, compact, beautiful, really slightly wider spoon-shaped leaves as you see and again lovely blue flowers just standing up so nicely out of the middle of the clump and then this dainty little one on the end is one called noble nightingale and when you see this this has little bronzy purple leaves that are dainty spreads out over the edges this would be a great little plant to droop down over the edges of a stone wall or a container. Lots and lots of really good little plants that you would be able to grow either as single specimens or if you were to plant them out somewhere, plant them in mass and let them get into a ground covering situation. In my experience, sometimes some of the taller growing and wider spreading types will sometimes spread out into a lawn. So if you're thinking about planting these near the front of a bed or a border, just be aware that sometimes with these ones that are more aggressive in their spreading, they might just try to escape into the lawn, in which case that's easy. You just trim them back and stop that from happening or else sight them back further into a bed and a border to stop that from happening. Outside of that, really hardy, easy to grow, terrific plants that are very colorful. And I think I owe Mr. Hansen an apology the next time I see him, because these are quite simply fabulous plants. Thanks to Chris Hansen from Garden Solutions for bringing us such wonderful plants.